Okay, so which of the following medications is most appropriate for secondary prevention of ischemic stroke in this patient? Um, and then the question is, a 70-year-old woman with a history of AFib and hypertension presents the emergency room with a sudden onset of right-sided weakness and slurred speech. Her symptoms began four hours ago, and a non-contrast head CT scan showed no evidence of hemorrhage. So... It sounds like there was a stroke, um, which it does stay in the, in the question as well, for secondary prevention of ischemic stroke, so preventative measure. Um, you would ideally want something that doesn't lead to clots, right? So mm -hmm. um, I would say some sort of blood thinner or something that prevents clot formation. Um, so I would probably rule out statin because i think that's more to do with like you know lipids um and then i think river roxaban is another drug that has to do with platelets warfarin i don't think i've seen that used okay. in terms of like a preventative measure clopidogrel um is another blood thinner but I would, I think the most likely answer would have been aspirin. Okay, final answer? Yes. Okay, let's work through this question, okay? So um, AFib, ischemic stroke, anticoagulation are most appropriate for secondary prevention, right? Um, just remember this, okay? This is a little bit more complex of a question. Um, aspirin and clopidogrel, okay? Just remember that these two answers are almost identical. They work on platelet. Right. So if they're both an answer choice, they're usually incorrect. Does it make sense? Yes. They both work on platelets, so unlikely. Okay. And then of course your statin. So really you should be getting it between these two, um, Ruboxavan versus Warfarin. Okay. And so let's look at kind of, you know, your Ruboxavan, right? Direct mm -hmm. oral antibody that can be used as an alternative for warfarin for uh, stroke prevention in patients with non-vascular AFib. However, in this case, warfarin is most appropriate because of the hypertension, which may increase bliss with um you know, direct oral anticoagulants. This is one of the, your, um, your newer drugs, okay? But um, warfarin is going to be good here because of the AFib, and then you're going to pre have prevention too, okay? It's just a better answer than C. Okay. But do you understand why aspirin and clopidogrel, um, they, one works on kind of um, adhesion, the other one works on aggregation, but they work on platelets, right? So yeah. pretty much if they're both an answer choice, then they can't both be right, right? So. Right.